coming in here to you then. Deputy Dougherty. Check the screen, Can I get the Ken Corley? Ken Corley, um, on three separate occasions I've raised an issue in terms of pending legislation in this House, and I would appreciate if I get an answer today. I, as far back as February, February, I've asked the Tisha, I've asked the Tanisha, and again I've asked the Tanisha just last month. And it's in relation to pe a commitment in the programme of the government and a commitment in relation to bringing forward legislation to publish the 1926 uh, census. The last time I raised this, I, I wished the, the gathering initiative well. We have you know, the former ambassador in terms of cultural affairs today you know, criticising the government in relation to it being a scam, saying that the government are only interested in the shakedown of the Irish diaspora. Right. What was supposed to happen was the 1926 census was supposed to be published so that the gathering people coming right. here could be able to trace their roots. When is this legislation going to be published? And can you give confidence to the Irish diaspora that you mean more you. than just simply a shakedown and trying to take the last few pounds from them? Well, uh, Deputy, I disagree with respect to our very eminent former ambassador for culture, Gabriel Byrne. He says that all, 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 all Ireland is interested in is a shakedown of people coming here. The Irish-American diaspora represents uh, about, uh, about half of our worldwide diaspora. Um, and uh, as I say, the, this is a very credible national proposition uh, to invite people back here to Ireland in 19 th uh, for, for 2013, not just uh, for the purposes of traditionally hoping that they will spend money, but to have an enjoyable, beneficial experience, and for those who wish to find out where their antecedents came from, uh, to have that opportunity. I don't have the, the date for you uh, of the... Uh, of the um, uh, uh, I don't have the uh, date for publication of the 1926 census. There is a, a considerable cost involved in this, and as you're aware, um, the, the department are dealing with, with two main um, issues here, uh, Deputy. One is to put in place the necessary statutory power to enable the project to uh, proceed while taking into account uh, of the current 100-year confidentiality rule which, under the, which applies and that the Central Statistics Office collects its data under that rule. In other words, you are not supposed to do this until 100 years have passed. And secondly, to find a method of funding the project uh, in regard to the, uh, in the absence of exchequer funding. I am advised that by the department that the 1901-1911 census project cost just under five million and that that was funded by the exchequer. The 1926 census project is estimated to cost a multiple of this figure, and uh, obviously the department are examining the possibility of uh, options here. So I disagree with our eminent uh, former ambassador for culture, and I can't give you an exact date as to when this is actually going to be published. Thank you, Deputy Collins. De Deputy Collins, there's no point of. Here on three separate occasions, and I was told on each set occasion that the information would be provided to me, which it well, hasn't been. Well, it when is the legislation, which the Minister has said has been approved by Cabinet as far back as March, going to be brought forward? No. It do, will it be brought forward this year? Is it in no, any... No, 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 hold a second. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. The teacher has answered the question. Well, then...